This video is going to show you how to get started with Pixie Clip and give you some of the basics of how to work it. It's really simple and intuitive. So once you start off and you do create a Pixie Clip, it does link up with your Google account, so that's good. Um, you can go ahead and start doodling, and basically what that does is just get you a whiteboard screen that you can just start drawing on. You'll notice as I start drawing that it starts to count up the seconds. So the minute you start drawing, it records the drawing that you're doing as a video. As you're doing this drawing, you can also upload images. So I'm just going to pick one real, real quick. And you just load it up from your Google Drive or your Downloads folder. Once that image is uploaded, all you got to do is click on it to bring it into your screen. So you can do all kinds of diagramming in here, um, all kinds of different things. You can also, over here, I uh, start off with pencil drawing. You could also use marker, change color as you need, so you can highlight things. You can type text, so it'll give you a little text box. Text, twex box. <laughs> And once you have anything in there, everything is movable. So I've got a move cursor here. So I can take things that I need and move them where I need to be. And again, you'll notice every time I'm working on this, it automatically starts counting up. So it's been creating a video every time that I move and any time that I type. The other thing that you can add to it, other than text and pictures, is of course audio. I'm not going to click the microphone because that will kind of mess up our screencast here. But I will show you the webcam and where that goes. So when you click on webcam, you got to allow it, and it puts it right here, and here I am. All right, let me just show you real quickly how to save uh, a doodle or a drawing, a video that you've created. So here I am doodling. I've got my pixie clip rocking. Now I can restart if I'm not happy with mine, or I can publish it out. Let me show you those options. Click on publish. First thing is you want to give it a name. You can give a description that's optional. You can also decide if you want to show the cursor, which is what I had here with that black cursor. Uh, you can show it only when doodling or to not show the cursor at all. And this privacy option is important. The default is public, but you can make these private. You can make them hidden or you can password protect them. So those are your options there. And when you click save, it'll automatically start showing you your clip. And there it is. I turned the audio off, but there's my video. And to share that out, all I do is click on share, and I can do it over email, I can embed it, um, or the actual URL here, this right here you can copy and you can send out as well. That's the actual URL to this video. All right, so that is Pixie Clip. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's a good little tool, quick and easy, and uh, should be good for helping kids to explain their thinking.